Hi, and welcome to Lunch with Lisa, and today we're gonna cook Bang Bang Chicken. <sighs> it's Lunch with Lisa. Hi, my name is Lisa, and I lost 33 pounds last year with Octavia. I went from this to this. And I'm here to share with you all the lean and green recipes that I use to lose the weight and a lot of the recipes I make now to keep the weight off. So let's get started. For this recipe, you're gonna need unsalted dry roasted peanuts, sambal, ground fresh chili paste, some kind of vegetable oil, two zucchini or one large zucchini, one and a half pounds of poached chicken breast, shredded, one medium cucumber or half an English cucumber, two spring onions, and some cilantro or coriander. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is crush our peanuts. You're gonna need one ounce of peanuts. There's a few ways you can go about crushing your peanuts. You can use a food processor, you can crush them with the back of a knife, or you can do it this way, which I think is really easy. You just get a little plastic baggie and you stick your peanuts inside. I'm gonna weigh them out, so I make sure to get one whole ounce. Then I'm going to squish out most of the air and zip the top. With a rolling pin or the back of a pan, you can just start crushing your peanuts. I'm gonna combine them with two teaspoons of the sambal chili paste. This stuff is pretty spicy, so if you don't like spice, just go light on the chili paste. And then one teaspoon of oil. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. I love this recipe because there's really no cooking except for poaching the chicken breast ahead of time and letting them cool down. So you can make the chicken overnight and stick it in the fridge and then pull out all the ingredients and just put them all together. So quick and easy. Okay, no fancy equipment needed. All you need for this is a vegetable slicer and your zucchini. And all you're going to do is start slicing them into these long ribbons. You could also do this for another video I made about making zucchini spinach manicotti. Go check that one out right now. And then come back and finish this one. See, look at these lovely long strips. Now they're a little thin, but you totally could make anything out of these really cool noodles. So I'm gonna slice those up, but I also wanted to show you that you could also make this with other kinds of vegetables. Butternut squash makes awesome noodles. It's a little more in carbs, but if you're already have lost the weight like I have, you could use it. What you wanna do is go ahead and peel your vegetable. Then once you get down to the orange part, you just start peeling away. And these thin strips are little pasta noodles. How fun is that? And it makes it so beautiful and colorful. I'm gonna add a few of those to this dish, cause why not? Why not? And notice I didn't cut that stem off cause I can just hold it right there with that stem. The only thing about this peeler is I have this little nub here that kind of gets in the way. Might have to buy a new one. Don't throw this away, use it for soups, come on. What are we, like living in like the stone age or something? Don't throw these away. <laughs> Said that to myself cause I almost put it in the garbage. <laughs> So it should be about two cups of vegetables. Probably have more than enough here. Beautiful, it smells so good. Very earthy. Now we're gonna cut the cucumber into matchsticks. So I'm gonna cut it lengthwise first and scoop out any seeds that are inside. And it does say to peel it, but I'm using an English cucumber. I don't mind the peel. Woo, that's just getting everywhere. Those are not matchsticks, but you know, you get the gist. Why do you want to be perfect and make like little perfect matchsticks? <laughs> make big honking chunks. I'm not a delicate person. Like I'm a Texan. We put spurs on our boots. I don't own any boots <laughs> or a cowboy hat or a horse. Like all this prep work could be done the night before. But, all right, so here we have some matchsticks, cucumber matchsticks. It's a little tedious, but you know, you don't have to make them that small. I'm gonna put those in a bowl and maybe I'll save this one for later. <laughs> Got enough. So all we have to do is combine all these three together. I don't know if this is a pound and a half of chicken. So I'm just adding my shredded chicken to my noodles, shredding it a little bit more as I go, nice and cooled off. Still a little warm. It's actually not a pound and a half. It's a little bit light, but that's okay. There's only two of us here. Anyways, it's a pound and two ounces. I know it feels like I already used a bunch of dishes, but it's gonna be hard to toss in this really small bowl. So I'm gonna dump all of this into my lovely big bowl here. And then I'm just gonna toss in my peanut mixture. And with my tongs I used to shred the chicken, I'm just gonna toss this all together. 
so it's nice and coated. It's a perfect little Asian summer dish. Not hot, might be a little spicy. Nothing like a little tall drink, a zevia or something with it. Make it taste good. Ooh, chicken. Now to serve, just going to place some noodles down. Just guessing here, but you're gonna measure it. Then throw some matchstick cucumbers on top. And of course, make it look pretty because we feast with our eyeballs first. Then I'm just gonna garnish with some green onion, about a tablespoon or two. A little handy trick, right, with the scissors. <laughs> make sure they're clean. And then you could plant this baby and grow another one. And then of course, your cilantro or coriander, that on top. If you want to tear it up, chop it up, do that as well. Or just leave it whole for the person to pick off if they don't like cilantro. Of course, your household, you're gonna know. And don't forget to sprinkle on maybe seven or eight halves of peanuts. Make sure you get the dry roasted, unsalted, no sugar, no nothing in those peanuts. Sometimes they're hard to find. Gotta look on the ingredient list. This one just says peanuts. All right, and there you have our bang bang chicken. Looks scrum diddly -umptious. I cannot wait to taste this. Mmm. Oh, get some cucumber in there. It needs something. I need to buy some more of this, some sriracha. It might need a tad more like oil, or you could just add a little bit more chili paste. If you're in the mood for something light and cool, this is your dish. It is refreshing, definitely. It's a little on the dry side. Maybe make like a little drizzle of some orange juice. Oh, that would be good. Like take half an orange and just squeeze it on top and give it some brightness. Very, very high protein, low carb, good for you meal. Help you lose that weight and feel great. If you like what you see and you wanna help support me, there's three ways to do that. You can go shopping down at my Amazon store. Really, you don't have to buy anything in that store. If you just use the link to go shopping in the next 24 hours, you'll help me out a lot. I'll make a tiny little commission from your purchase. And it won't cost you a thing except your purchase. Or you could buy me a coffee at coffee.com slash lunchwithlisa. Or you could become a patron, like all these lovely people and watch my videos one week early. Just go to patreon.com slash lunchwithlisa. And it's always free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace out. Hi, and welcome to Lunch with Lisa. And today, we're gonna cook bang bang chicken. Tastes like chicken.